Kamala Harris is again. She's right, parents and teachers, which is why oh, yeah. in her home state of California, the teachers conspire to uh, not tell the parents when they're reassigning their kids' gender. Parents and teachers, you know, right. um, banning books. Right. Well, that's uh, the statement that Paul Vallis put out about Ron DeSantis. Same thing. Uh, did Ron DeSantis ever say don't teach uh, slavery or the Reconstruction no. period? No, of course because not. they teach that they did that. Black uh, history course they wanted it talked about queer theory. Uh, of, of 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 course, of course not, of course not. But these are racial demagogues. Mm-hmm. I'm talking about Andrea Mitchell and Kamala Harris and Paul Vallis. For more on this, since uh, Ron DeSantis is in town spreading hate, <laughs> pleased to be joined by Congressman Darren LaHood, Republican from Peoria, who's traveling with the governor. Darren, thanks for joining us. Appreciate it. Hey, Dan and Amy, great to be on with you. Uh, So um, what do you think? Uh, Ron DeSantis uh, has really done a terrible job as mayor of the city of Chicago, and these uh, contenders don't want him back. (laughs) Well, you talk about a fake controversy and uh, people that are jealous of Ron DeSantis. You know, Florida's crime rate right now is at a 50-year low, Dan. Uh, They have one of the best economies in the entire country, record surpluses. Uh, you know, and so when I hear Pritzker or Fox or, or even Vallis, any of these other people, I mean, it's just ridiculous. And I give Ron DeSantis a lot of credit for coming into Chicago today on President's Day. He's also going to be in New York and Philadelphia and to expose uh, what Pritzker has done to law enforcement in the state of Illinois. Talk to any cop, whether it's in the city of Chicago or in Peoria, Illinois, or a sheriff's deputy. Cops are demoralized. Law enforcement's demoralized because of what Fox, Kim Fox, Lightfoot, and Pritzker have done. And you guys know it better than anybody what they've done in the state, eliminating cash bail, reducing penalties for violent offenders, uh, not prosecuting, uh, you know, uh, violent criminals or illegal immigrants, and lastly, trying to get rid of qualified immunity. So I'm thrilled uh, Governor DeSantis is coming to Illinois. We're going to have a record crowd of cops uh, and sheriff's deputies there. And uh, and I hope uh, this is a lesson to them. I know it won't be, but I hope it is. It is odd uh, that uh, so many people who've left Chicago for Florida don't understand the threat that Ron DeSantis has poses to their very existence, myself included. Tell us what tell, oh, yeah. us what tell us what we don't know, Darren. Tell us about Ron DeSantis and the threat we pose. Apparently, we should come back to Chicago before he, he wrecks Florida like he did the city of Chicago. I guess that's what we're supposed to believe we continue to hemorrhage thousands and thousands of people out of Illinois because of the policies of of Pritzker at the top and Lightfoot and Fox and many other Democrats that have controlled Springfield. And it's astonishing that people don't wake up to that fact, Dan, but it just every day there are more and more of my voters that now live in Florida and went there because of the success of Florida and, 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 and you look at the economic freedom there, you know, the low crime rate there, the opportunity to thrive and prosper and do well, whether it's in your small business uh, or with your family. And it's a success story that everybody ought to be emulating. And again, I think uh, this is, again, a fake controversy from Pritzker, and they should be jealous of what Ron DeSantis is doing. So I'm glad he'll be here today to talk about the success model in Florida. And frankly, I'm jealous we don't have Ron DeSantis in Illinois and his policies. Well, a lot of us, uh, you know, including my friends, moved to Florida because the schools were open. And I went to countless rallies with Paul Vallis, you know, to reopen schools. So it was hard to read this email that he put out, you know, decrying and denouncing uh, DeSantis as a right wing extremist. Does Governor DeSantis know about all this pushback he's getting from these liberal Democrats here in Chicago? Frankly, Amy, I don't think he cares one bit. Uh, the more, the merrier, right? I mean, to see the outrage of liberals and progressives, I think it's going to highlight the event even more. Uh, and just the, the stupidity of, of what, you know, what these politicians stand for and the contrast. I mean, I think that's what Governor DeSantis is going to talk, uh, talk about today. I think it's what he's going to talk about in the future is the contrast to what Florida's done uh, in terms of his policies. And Amy, I, I hope it's a wake-up call for folks in Illinois. And that's part of why he's coming today. But, but most importantly, law enforcement needs to hear from somebody that's been a leader here, that's bringing down crime, uh, and, and, is, and has helped support uh, law enforcement at every level in Florida. By the way, 
you guys know this too. We can't get people to apply to be police officers or sheriff's deputies or Illinois State Police in Illinois anymore because they've been demoralized. Florida has record amounts of folks that want to be police officers. So, I mean, the statistics bear it out. Uh, and again, uh, we're going to highlight that today. He should, uh, Ron DeSantis should use all the criticism he's receiving from Chicago Democrats as in a campaign commercial. If these guys don't like me, I must be doing something right. I mean, I could, could Chicago have any worse of a reputation nationally and internationally as compared to uh, the reputation that Florida has under DeSantis? Something else about this, too. And this is difficult in Illinois a little bit because there's some Republican uh, donors who I like and respect who are, have poured a lot of money into Vallis's campaign. It was mistaken, but, um, you know, we, we make a lot of mistakes here. So speaking of the Republican Party here, something else that maybe DeSantis can provide an example of, because uh, people forget when DeSantis ran in 2018, he was not the establishment Republican's choice in Florida. Adam Putnam was, and he narrowly won. And then he narrowly won by 3,000 votes uh, his first contest against Gillum in 2018. And then he governed like a conservative reformer, and then in 2022, he wins by uh, 20 points because of the record of success that he put together and how Florida is flourishing under his leadership, as you were describing. Maybe there's something there for Illinois Republicans to learn. The, uh, the Illinois Republicans, which is the leadership of the Republican Party for, uh, well, for the last two decades, more or less, that we surrender at the first sign of trouble, that we try to pantomime the other side, sort of like what Vallis is doing with the Marxists in Chicago. Maybe that's not the model. Paul, uh, Ron DeSantis was able to turn Florida from a swing state into a deep red state in the span of four years because he ran and governed as a conservative reformer. Gosh, I wonder if there's something there to emulate. Well, I, you articulated that well, Dan. Absolutely. He's an example for all Republicans across the country. Uh, and, and standing by your, princ your conservative principles and values uh, through thick and thin is what Ron has done. And frankly, that's why people uh, love the guy uh, and why he's been so successful. And look at what he did in Florida this year at the top of the ticket. They now have a supermajority in their Senate, supermajority in their House in Florida. He's going to have an opportunity to pass a lot of really great bills this spring Again, and it's night and day between Florida and Illinois and a lot of these other Democrat states across the country. But it's because of strong, principled leadership. Uh, and frankly, he's an example for uh, should be an example for the party in Illinois. He is Darren LaHood, congressman for the 16th district out of Peoria, and recently selected to the committee on the Chinese Communist Party as well. So there'll be a lot of work on that committee, to be sure. Congressman LaHood, thanks so much for joining us, and uh, enjoy your day with Governor DeSantis. Sounds great, guys. Take care, Dan and Amy. Thank you, and he joined us on our turnkey.pro answer line. You're listening to Chicago's Morning Answer with Dan Proft and Amy Jacobson on AM560, The Answer. Signature Bank is Chicago's fastest growing independently owned business bank. It's a bank that cares about your business and is invested in your success. I'm Dan Proft, and I know this because Signature Bank is my business bank. Hi, I'm Chris Johnson, CEO of Classic Cinemas and proud customer of Signature Bank. We are a local family owned business that is known for free refills on all sizes of popcorn, soft drinks, and ices. With over 9,000 heated